All right. That was just brilliant vision if she could have just put it a little bit better. Oh, nice move by Tehran. Tehran losing the defender, looking to send her down this left-hand side. All alone is Sawagid, but Dodi gets there first. Klasner stepping up, raises both hands. High driven center, Caballero screams away. Oh, that was off of a Maverick. Tehran now down the left-hand side for MSU Denver. Cuts inside, steps into the box, another cut. Center, Sawagid was right there. Pulliam will fire off a shot and Pulliam. Oh, and there's a long ball and that's gonna go over Suwa this time. Deer's gonna chase that down. Suwa is right there in pursuit. Steps up oh, nicely man. and Suwa has kept Deer in check all afternoon. God, he was a superstar with Kelly Marsh. Oh, and Suwa again. Doing an absolute amazing job all afternoon keeping Deer in check. The playoff game on their home pitch. Yeah, the Roadrunners always come out hot off the gate. And there's a shot. Oh, and that's just over the crossbar. I believe that was Coates with the shot. To see her out here for this Roadrunner team. Oh, and Durkin put that ball in. Jamie is right there. Jamie, can she get there first? Oh, and just cleared away by the Mavericks at the very last moment. Garcia puts it back in a dangerous area. The Mavericks had a lot of work to do wow. there defensively, but the ball ends up with Doty for the Mavericks. Up against Giordano, Wells cuts inside. She's gonna fire off a shot, and that shot is just wide of the goal of Caballero. Cleared away by the Mavericks. Osler cuts inside, finds Garcia. Garcia, who we know can rip him from long ways. Instead, opts for the through ball for Sawagat. Sawagat all alone. Sawagat, it's a goal for the Roadrunners. Jamie Sawagat on senior day. Scores her sixth goal of the season and puts the Roadrunners up 1-0 on the scoreboard. And there's the bench, loving it. Finally, someone breaks through, and it's the hometown Roadrunners. What a pass to Sawagat. Suwa followed her immediately, applying the pressure as that ball goes over the top for Durkin. Durkin has a lot of room in front of her, cuts inside. Durkin has a look on goal. Durkin with a shot, and it's just wide. It's at bay, and here's a Roadrunner chance. Coates, seemingly all alone. Coates going to rip it from long distance, and what a save by the keeper, by Doty. Kilman is right there to pick up the pieces, center it. Coates once again with the header, and Coates cannot redirect it on target. Est of Giordano this time steps into the box, cuts inside. Randall now, Randall with the right-footed shot. Randall, nice save by Caballero, pushes it away for a corner kick. In the road on his defensive third, could prove to be dangerous. Randall now with a flick. Oh, shouts for a handball. Zimmer did well to clear that away and get it out of a dangerous area. Oh my, that was and that does it. MSU close out the season undefeated here at home. And look at the celebration from the bench in a night where we honored the 10 seniors departing this program next year. You know, we came out, we were, it was an emotional roller coaster this morning, especially with everybody that's graduating, but I even said in the, in the locker room, I was like, okay, let's stop, we're done crying, it's game time. So it was good. I mean, when we first came out, we were kind of like anxious. Everything was kind of here and there. Second half, we calmed down, played our game, and it was a great feeling. Luna gave me a beautiful ball, slipped through, and I just had to stay composed and slip it through the cold keeper, so. We're feeling great, amazing. Um, we did exactly what we needed to do from the scout. We translated everything onto the field, and I think that's how we got the win today. She is, well, Kat told us that she's the leading goal scorer in Division Two, so she was our main um, worry, I guess, during the game, and she didn't get a single shot the whole game, so that was just between me and Ellie switching off, making sure she was covered the whole time. Um, and always being on our back. I'm incredibly proud of the players and uh, you know that's something that we talk about. We have a lot of pride in that. Um, defending our home turf and you know two years straight now we've been undefeated at home and it's an unbelievable effort all around um, from our sideline, from our game changers to our starters to our role players, um, our coaching staff, but really proud of the effort. Oh it's huge. I mean Mace has been playing really well lately. Uh, they've been playing strong and you know, they have the leading goal scorer in the nation um, up top, and, you know, she's dangerous. And we talked about her, we talked about their movement, and, you know, Mesa did a really good job in the first half. I thought we made some adjustments in the second half, and we came out, and we came out really well. You know, Emily, um, all season long, reads the game really well, right? She anticipates the ball, she anticipates the service, um, you know, she has a really good soccer IQ, and, you know, I mean, uh, number five is just tricky up top. I mean, she kind of sits on the backside shoulder. She goes here. She kind of finds and tries to find the shape. And um, Emily not only is athletic enough to deal with her, but she's also a smart soccer player.